A group of prominent Australians is lending their voices to a campaign to end the practice of holding children in detention centres. The We're Better Than This Australia movement includes well-known people such as Ida Butterose, Ian Chappell, Janet Holmes Accord and Claudia Carvin, as well as many other prominent figures. This morning, a song has been released online to reinforce their message. Let's take a look. I think when you lock a child up, you lock up their imagination. And when you do that, you destroy the childhood. Looking after kids is so important because they grow into adults and that gets passed on. So, no, we're not looking after them properly. We get the habit of cruelty, it will spread. And we're getting the habit of cruelty. Do we want future citizens of Australia to start their lives like this? No other country in the world holds children in the way that we do and the United Nations and, uh, is very, very concerned about Australia's policies. I would take every child out of detention. I think there are ways that we can do it. We just have to be imaginative. I thought that we were better than this. It's a little bit of Live Aid here in Australia and actor Brian Brown is leading the campaign called We're Better Than This Australia and he joins us now from Sydney. Brian Brown, good morning. Good to talk to you. Good morning, Virginia. How did you get involved in this campaign? A couple of mates that uh, were talking to me about, uh, about uh, <coughs> how wrong this was and we had a few discussions and we thought, uh, well, we'd better do something about it. <coughs> It's too easy to sit around and talk about things and you sort of got to uh, get off your bum and do stuff and this is appalling how these children are being uh, treated. So um, I sent out emails to uh, a number of prominent people, some I knew and most I didn't and the response from all of them was fantastic. They said yes, uh, they'd like to be involved in doing a We Are The World type video as a, as a start to the campaign and uh, that's what you just saw. So for, for whom is this message or to whom is this message directed? Who are you trying to reach and, and who are you trying to persuade? I think we just want the question of how we deal with children when we're holding them as Australians or as an Australian government that reflects us, how we look after children. We want that brought onto the, we want that as a topic of conversation because the way that they're being treated isn't the right way. Um, these children are self-harming, they're in there for 400 days uh, on average, um, and uh, we've got to treat them better than this. So we want the subject talked about, and we, the, our government, our, our politicians are being given the responsibility to look after these children, and we want them to, um, uh, to take that responsibility and to do it properly, which is what they are not doing at the moment. So we want it, dis we want it discussed and we want them to come up with an alternate way of dealing with these children, which is humane and proper. Well, the government is saying that they are coming up with an alternative arrangement when it comes to those uh, children who are being held in community detention. Uh, the government's announced new bridging visa arrangements that's going to allow those children then out uh, and into the community. That applies to, I think, to around about 150 children in detention. So does that not go some way towards uh, addressing your concerns? Well, I think any, any, any movement forward is good. There's about 700 children being kept on the mainland and offshore. Um, we want all of them. For, uh, we want all of. We want the subject of this addressed as to how you treat 700 children, or, or more, or, or whoever we take in uh, while we're dealing with immigration problems. How we look after those children, whether they go into um, into uh, in, into homes um, uh, in Australia, into Australian homes, or how it's done. Um, we want that talked about, and we want the government to address it. And if they're starting to address it, good. But there's a long way to go. 
It was interesting in some of the observations that we that we heard there, and I think it was a point made by Tom Keneally that um, that if you if you start to to demonstrate cruelty, then cruelty uh, uh, seeps into your public. Is, is that the feeling that you get about the way this issue is regarded generally by the Australian community? That that, that there there isn't that that um, compassionate response anymore. Yeah, I, I think it's um, I think it's I find it deeply de depressing to think that. <clears throat> A country that um, <clears throat> a country that I have a lot of pride in um, can actually think that this is all right. How we how we look after children by putting them behind barbed wire, where children are self harming, <clears throat> that somehow that this is okay. I think we've I think I don't know how we've got to this position, um, and and that was a comment made by many of the people that are in this uh, in this video. How did we get here? How did we think this is all right? If we don't know how to look after children who are put in our care, then how do we know how to do anything else? Um, uh, I, the more I think about it, the more I'm just appalled. I don't know how decisions can be made by people who represent me and my friends and the other people that are Australians, how, how they can choose to think this is the way to look after children. Well, the, the, uh, the, the, response I don't of, get it. The, the response of this government and, and indeed previous governments of both stripes has been, well, if you don't want to see children uh, locked up in detention, then as parents, don't get on boats and don't come uh, to Australia. Don't seek asylum. Get, yeah. get, get in the queue back in the country of your origin and, and wait to be given proper asylum seeker status. Yeah. Spin's great, isn't it? I mean, what has that got to do with how we treat the children that are here? They're our responsibility. We're meant to look after them. Um, I, I, I'm amazed at how good politicians are at changing the subject. Um, that is complete spin. These children are here. Um, how they got here and why they got here is a whole other conversation. But we have the responsibility to look after them. It's as simple as that. I know how to look after children. I've brought up three of them. Most Australians know how to look after children. Um, our government doesn't. Well, um, both sides of po uh, both sides of politics have failed in this, um, and I think it's time they pull their finger out. Uh, what would be what would be your response if uh, if this movement and if this video and if, and if these voices are simply dismissed as as, as left leaning lovies uh, uh, promoting a campaign or an issue that that's of importance to them rather than the broader Australian public? What will be your response to that? I think what we tried to do was to go out to people who have. Um, respect in the community. Um, they're not left-leaning lovies. Um, they're people who have um, brought a great deal of um, uh, pride to the country. They, um, uh, to, to call someone like Ida Buttrose a left-leaning lovey um, when she's Australian into the year, uh, a woman has had a, a, a huge significance in this country. Ian Chappell, one of our greatest cricketers, or George Gregan, who's, who's led, 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 led our um, rugby union team for so many times, um, amongst other people there. Um, uh, that's a cheap hit, um, and I don't think it'll hold water. Brian Brown, good to talk to you this morning. Thanks for making time for us. Thank you.